Well, good morning and happy Sunday mornings with Mel. It's Thanksgiving week, and I'm sure many of you will be gathering together with family and friends to celebrate this time of Thanksgiving. There is so much to be thankful for, even when you feel like you hit rock bottom, even when you feel like nothing's going your way. We all do, if we really think about it, have so much to be thankful for. So the first song I'm going to sing is called Count Your Blessings, and it goes like this. When upon life's billows you are tempest-tossed, when you are discouraged thinking all is lost, count your many blessings, name them one by one, and it will surprise you what the Lord has done. Count your blessings, name them one by one. Count your blessings, see what God has done. Count your blessings, name them one by one. Count your many blessings, see what God has done. There is so much um, that we have to be thankful for and when I think of Thanksgiving and I think of going to church, um, church has always been, uh, I mean, it's a weekly event in our family, at least once a week. And I am very, very thankful for that memory, for that legacy that was given to us by my parents. But when I think of Thanksgiving, I think of these two songs. And the first one goes, Come, ye thankful people, come, raise the song of harvest home. All is safely gathered in, ere the winter songs begin. God, our Maker, doth provide with his hands to be supplied. Come to God's own temple, come, raise the song of harvest home. And the other one goes like this. We gather together to ask the Lord's blessing. He chastens and hastens his will to make known. The wicked oppressing now cease from distressing. The Lord is at our side. O Lord, make us free. I've had a few challenges this week. And I think I talk about this more than I should. But just when you think that you see light at the end of the tunnel or you see that things are going to change and they don't, it's easy to get discouraged. And I think I've said this before, but during 2020, I think people feel like they were given the permission to show their worst. And I think that that's what people are doing still. And, you know, I'm sitting here in front of a board game that we used to play with my great-grandmother, and it's called Aggravation. Some people call it Wahoo. But, you know, I think about life, and you could say life's like a roll of the dice, and we get what we get. And there's some truth to that. But, by God's grace, we are given the opportunity to start new. And if we choose not to see God's grace and how he has forgiven us, God have mercy when it comes to our time to be at the throne of God, that we don't give the grace that we are given back. So one thing, be thankful this week. But be gracious and be kind because that's what the world needs more of, not hatred. So God bless you. Have a good Thanksgiving and I will talk to you later.